Question 14. Calculate 144 divided by 6. Anytime you do a divide like this, you can use two different methods. First method, we will call the bus shelter, which is normally used for short division. So if you're dividing by quite small numbers, less than 10. So here's your bus shelter. 6 goes in front of the bus shelter. That's the number you're dividing by. And the number we're dividing goes inside. So this is like saying how many 6s go into 144. So how many 6s go into 1? Well, 6 is bigger than 1. So 6 will not go into 1 at all. So it's none. But we haven't actually used this one. So this one is still left over. So I've carried the remainder, anything that's left over, to the next column. So this now makes 14. So how many 6s go into 14? Two 6s will go in. But there will be a remainder of 2, which will now make 24. How many 6s go into 24? If you know your 6 times table, you should know that 4 6s are 24 with none left over. So your final answer looks like no hundreds, 2 tens and 4 units. We can kind of ignore the no hundreds, so this is just 24. So that's what needs to be written in our answer box. However, the other way of doing it is called the chunking method. Now, chunking is basically like repeated subtraction. So we're going to repeatedly subtract chunks of 6 from 144. So let's write it out again. So 6 is into 144. Now, you've got to think, you've got to choose a good, easy chunk of 6 that you can subtract. And an easy chunk is going to be 10 lots of 6. So just write beside what chunk of 6 you subtract in. So 10 6s is a 60. So I need to now subtract that 60. 4 take away nothing is 4. 4 take away 6 we can't do. So that now becomes 14. 14 take away 6 is 8. So I'm on 24. Now what chunk of 6s can I subtract again? Well I can do another 10 6s. So another 10 6s would be like... 60 again, so subtract another 10 sixes. 4 take away nothing is 4, 8 take away 6 is 2. Now you've got to think how many sixes can I take off 24? Well, if you've got it your 6 times table, you will know that 4 sixes make 24. So I can take 4 lots of 6 off, which is 24. So I'm taking 24 away this time. Obviously, 24 take away 24 is going to end up with 0. Now, this is the whole idea of chunking. You're trying to get down to 0. Because once you've got down to 0, you can't go any further. And all that remains to be done is to add up how many chunks you've, you've subtracted. So, we've done a chunk of 10. We've done another chunk of 10. And then we've done a chunk of 4. 10 plus 10 plus 4 makes 24. So we've repeatedly subtracted 24 lots of 6 from 144. And that's exactly what we got here. So two different methods, both equally valid. So you choose the method that you find the easiest to do. Final answer, 144 divided by 6 is 24.